Mace Vault in the studio. Hey. Yes, there it is. Um, so let, let me run. Let me run through some numbers here. 1.1 million fans, roughly, in so many different areas. You got more than 20, 30 million likes just on TikTok alone, I think. Uh, that's a little low. Is are that you, low? When, are you, when did you do your research? Oh, Rossi, you years ago? Rossi does all the research on the show. <laughs> sorry. Yo, come on. Give me my respect. May I, I Googled it and, and that's what came up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Blame him. Blame him. Can it's we okay. get Can we get the audio of Rossi asking um, the tower the question about his... Uh, just because I want to run through something here. So, Ross, where did you get the info from? Because this something that we run up with Rossi all the time. He um, gets the info. So I got it from Google. Why so wouldn't you just go to our TikTok page? Because Thank you. Sorry, May. I'm, I'm not very good on social media. I apologize. It's okay. I I'm forgive so, you. Sorry. So like just recently we had, um, do you know the tower from Game of Thrones? The big guy is the biggest man in the world. The mountain. The mountain. He's the mountain, right? He's known wow. as the mountain. We had him in studio last week and Rossi asked him this question. Have a listen, ready? Have a listen to this. Hold on. That's unbelievable. Is it true that your brothers are taller than you? I actually don't have any brothers. Oh. I have two sisters. <laughs> oh, they are, they, they he asked him about his brothers Stop. that he doesn't even have. Well, hold on. Stop. Hold on. I'm only, am I, I only 1,000 likes away on your on your TikTok? That's not bad. You said 13. What? What? It says here. 20. Oh, he said 30. It's an accent thing, I think. Oh, my God. You guys need to get it together out here on the radio. What is happening? No, he said the right uh, number. What is happening? He said it right. So what, 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 it says on your TikTok here that you got 29.9. That's a million. Million really? likes. I feel like That's... you guys should round up, not round down That's... to half. No, we're but, precise. Okay, I'm not about numbers, guys. Are this you being picky love. here? I'm not being picky. Colossal. Let's move on. Um, how does it feel? That's a lot of likes. That's a lot of people watching your content. That's a lot of people wanting to know what you're doing now congratulations on all the success thank That's you so super much cool, thank, huh? you. thank you accidentally came across it like was it something that you put up and then it was like boom people started following your journey um i think i started off as not as an accident but just things happen naturally mm. right so i started like a jewelry company with my mom and we were spending a lot of time together and the jewelry company never worked out, okay? <laughs> okay, hey, sometimes but, things but don't work out. But we would spend a lot of time together and I'd do stories with her and yeah, yeah. people would walk by laughing or people on the internet would laugh. So then I just started like posting the stories on my own page. I created my page and then it just grew, grew from there. And mm. then Corona hit. And then, yeah. and then I was like, okay, everybody's at home watching. And I doubled down on content during that time. Like that was a time where everything got boosted times a thousand. Yeah. Wow. Because mm. people had really yeah. nothing to do. We were all on content watching yeah. social media. Yeah. Uh, originally from Egypt, is it? Yeah, originally Amazing. from Egypt. And, and so mom is like, you know, I'm Lebanese. We've got, I've got a traditional Lebanese mom. I feel at home. I feel the related. I think you're very relatable. I think that's one of the biggest things on social media is that you're relating be between your mother and yourself she yeah. wants she wants to see her daughter get married she wants to see her find a good man and, and i do too wait can you hold on <laughs> hi everybody listening on the radio i also want a good man you also want oh. i want to get married look at him blocking my blessings <laughs> <laughs> i also like to get married um oh. but the thing i think that uh resonates with a lot of people is my mom's old school i'm kind of new school so yeah. like we always clash and then we also like share a lot of like opinions at the same time so sure. i I feel like there's a lot of people out there like that. If you don't follow, it's uh, Mace Vault. It's M A I S Vault V A U L T. That's TikTok, Instagram, and everywhere else. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying like the I journey love now? It. I love it, honestly. And I, I, I'm gonna just go back to Corona for a second. Or maybe this is not something I should say, but I, I remember like people are like, "Man, Corona, yep. it's so sad." Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm like, uh, I'm blooming. I'm loving you, it right now. It was a like, blessing. Yeah, in disguise, because, like, yeah. Every downfall has like upsides, right? Right. So I could have been at home moping and saying, oh, I can't be creative. I'm at home nonstop. But I was like, yo, this is like an opportunity. An opportunity. And and what were you before this? You were just doing the jewelry business, like that was your full time no, thing. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. How much time you got? Okay, so <laughs> I I'm the type that tries everything because I didn't know where I was gonna go in life. Sure. And I still don't know where I'm going in life. That Neither much, do but... I. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, but first off, I was studying pre-med in college. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be doctora. May. 
<laughs> because that's what that's what every hour. I mean, that's what really any parent exactly. wants is a doctor. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? My parents forced me. Mama, if you're listening, <laughs> you try to force me to be a doctor. <laughs> Clearly, so you, it worked. <laughs> so you went. You went like you. You began the process yeah, of being studied, a good. I studied pre med for four years. <gasps> four years. I mean, or I cheated in school for four years. Whatever. <laughs> it depends on whose perspective it is. Um. So you're four years in. I mean, you, you. I mean, what another six years to go if you wanted to yeah. finish it? If, yeah. If Chris was to like drop dead now, would you be able to bring him back to life? Help him? Do no, I just record it and blog it on my next <laughs> yeah, YouTube yeah. video. Oh. He died. He uh, died on uh, the radio. Look, yeah. great content. And it's on selfie. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like this is an opportunity. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the problem with the kids these days. Yeah. All they want to do is me, film everything. Me look crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She's, oh. she's saying the corona was good. She'd film me if I'm dead. Who? invited her to the studio. I you, don't know who did. Your um, mom, I'm going to tell your mum all about this. She's probably listening in from across the world, I swear. So, I so you, you started med school, you realised that wasn't for you, you you obviously dropped out, and then... No, I didn't drop no. out. Come, yo. She said she did four years, she got I a diploma. I graduated oh, with a degree. It. Yeah. Oh, After you... four years, you graduate with a degree. I'm educated. She got her bachelor's in. Don't worry, that's, I, that's right. I didn't, we didn't go to Massimo. college. We didn't Don't go to college. To people. So, hold on. Four, you, four right. years yeah. in med school, you... No, it's pre-med. Seven years as a doctor. So what are you studying What school years? did you go to, Chris? Didn't go to school. What school did you did, go to? Didn't go to college. Where did you get in your a, education? In Australia. Oh, okay. So where... Pre, she did her undergrad. She went to college, did four years, of got what? her bachelor's. Hold on. Pre-med. Pre-med <laughs> means you take courses that will get you ready for, to get so into med school. So give me some of the school. courses. Give me some of the courses that you would have done in pre-med. I don't um, know this. This interview is just turning, taking oh, a new turn. Oh, my days. This is, no, I love this. I, I'm, all, I'm all about med stuff. So what, um, what have we got? What no, Some of the like, classes that you take in pre-med. Science, I guess. Like okay. whatever doctor. Chemistry, biology. Oh, okay, so you do those. Science. Okay. Oh, so it is like... It's pre-med, yes. The medical so side it gets of you ready to get into medical school. Y'all been a mess since eight a.m. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, we're up at four. Um, so this is great. I'm, I'm so happy. And, and now you're here in Dubai. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How cool is that? How did, who did, how did this all happen coming through Dubai? Because I know that you're exploring. You're at Expo 2020 yesterday. Yeah, you were yeah. at Wild Water. You've been having some Dude, fun. Every day is a new adventure out here, and it's crazy because. I came with like three people and we didn't know what to expect. Yeah. But every day is literally a new adventure. And it's not even like, okay, out in America, people think like Dubai is super expensive. Yeah. They think like you can't afford it. And the rappers like rap ridiculous things about it. Yeah. yeah. But you come out here and it's normal. And there's things to do that are really cheap, like yeah. very cheap. And I just want to say to all my American friends, one dollar is 3.6 dirham. So you do the math. <laughs> yeah. It's so true. You do the equations. It's so true. Yeah. I'm living good out here, mama. She's loving it. She may not come home. She may not Yo, come really home. Is, I, I think there's like a Dubai bug because you come out here, you experience like so much fun and so much life and the people are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then you extend, which yeah. I extended one time already, okay? Oh. And now my, my flight is on Thursday. Mm. And now I'm itching. Everybody's like, oh, But it's the weekend. I know. Now it's the best time. But Stop. whatever you do, do don't not take don't take a Chanel bag home to your mum because she'll kill you. <laughs> she will, honestly. She wants to know the price and the quality and where I got it from. Exactly. You know, we all came here for a couple of years. Rossi from the UK, Pretty from the States, me from Australia. We came here for two years. Yeah. 13 years, 12 years. How long you been here for? Uh, since 2008. Yeah, same 2008. Yeah, so you like, the maths. So it's... 13 it, it, Dubai has that bug. Yeah, you, it you, does. you come and you think, oh, I'll come hang out. Then you fall in love with it a little bit. Oh, I'll go for a little bit longer. The next thing you know, you're living here. Then you find a, a prince to look after. Oh, wait, you you look on. after your prince. You have kids. <laughs> next so thing you know, you're, you're flying mum over here. They've given you the golden visa and you're like, I know, us. I know, I know. <laughs> You popped up on my explore page probably three months ago, and I was like, "What's this?" And then yeah. I started looking. I was like, "This guy, this girl's funny. I like her." Yeah. And then uh, it came again, and then I looked again, and then I, I hit the follow, and I thought, "I want, I want to see more of this content." And I think it's just good. It's fun. It's different. Yeah, it's not that. It says something about your taste that you like to see my mom get angry at me. Hundred percent. But I appreciate the support. <laughs> well, the, the ones where you interview people as well are fantastic. Yeah, really love good. that. Yeah, I love, I love like meeting random people and asking them something juicy and seeing like. Their, their reaction are like yeah so where do you see this going like in the future 
Well, I do this out in New York because, like, there's no representation of, like, Arab Americans in mainstream media. Yep. So that's, like, a huge reason why I do what I do. And I want to take it farther. I want to do mainstream projects, like, yeah. bigger projects, bigger productions. Right now, it's just me. I edit all my content. I do everything myself. And so I want to take it to the next level for sure. You know, I don't want to compare here, but you know, we've, obviously we get a lot of people in the studio and someone about maybe six years ago for the first time came to our studio, her name was Lily Singh. Oh yeah, I hear okay? that. <laughs> so, but seeing Lily grow from just being on YouTube. social media and yeah. YouTube yeah. to then seeing her get her own show in the States and do what she was doing and billboards in LA and all that. It's exactly what I feel we need. Yeah, as an I mean, I'm I'm Lebanese by by birth, and my parents are both Lebanese. As an Arab, I would love to be able to see that. As you talk about the Indian side yeah, of things and the Asian culture, for you sure. guys having uh, Lily Singh, and Priyanka Chopra, Jonas now, who's in mainstream media, like seeing see representation is such a huge, mm -hmm. huge important thing yeah. for young people. I think for generations. And and like even back home in Australia, it's only just starting. There are a few yeah. of us sprinkled. It's mainly you get on there and it's you know the the straight blonde hair blue eye australian on the mm. news on this on that it's everywhere right and you're like where's our represent representation yeah, so to see it to see that you're doing this especially for the females i think is really really important and yeah. really really cool and that's the main thing like when i was growing up and i was on social media I, I used to think the only way to get famous or let's say or or get views is to be an instagram model yeah. like that's all mm. you saw on instagram yeah so like I, I love to show people that there's different ways. You don't have to like showcase your your appearance, your looks. Fantastic. And like beauty is on the inside too. Yeah, I got a, I'm a father sure. of two daughters and I always think that I keep telling them like, guys, you don't need to show your body off just to get views and you don't have to be that type of person. There are other ways, yeah. creative ways of doing it and try to find mm. it. A few questions have come through. Nala's got them here to read out. Nala, can, what questions are we asking May? Okay. The first one is from Esther underscore Delani. She's asking, are you and your mom really like that in real life? A mess? Yes. <laughs> uh, for sure. I think um, sometimes we do skits, so we do act out. Yeah, I don't want everybody to think that's 100% real yeah. 100 yeah, yeah, times. Of we do skits, we're creatives, and then sometimes I do catch her real reactions. Which videos are which, I am not going to tell you guys. <laughs> okay? sure. I love that. What else we got? We got Afa underscore zero two is asking, what inspired you to do funny videos and how is Mama Wafa? Um, honestly, I've been goofy all my life. <laughs> no, I'm, I just have a really fun uh, personality and I love laughing and I love spreading joy and laughter. So when I came, when, when my mom and I started, it was very natural. We were just being ourselves and we were just showcasing that. And then I had people saying, oh my God, my mom and I are like that too. And yeah. oh, I wish, we, uh, I wish we had other people that showed that too. So I was like, okay, hold up, hold up. I'm on to something. Yeah. 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 Bingo, found it. Yeah. Bingo. And then it just honestly evolved naturally. And Mama Wafa is good. Um, I just want to say on the air, I think she misses me a lot. Because oh. I didn't call her in two days. Like, <gasps> I call her every day, but one day I skipped. You know, I was at the water park sliding. I and, saw that uh, at Wild Body, yeah. And then uh, she's like, May, ya calva. Uh, <laughs> you didn't call me yesterday. I was like, Mom, do you miss me? She's like, No. She's like, I just wanted to know, how are you? And I was like, Oh. oh. <laughs> she has a soft spot for me. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm telling you right now. She, how old can I ask your age? Am I allowed? Yeah, that's fine. I'm 27. 27 years old. This is a good age. Fantastic right here. family. Mm. She's got the passport, <laughs> the American passport. <laughs> oh uh, my god, I feel like I'm being sold out. What right. is happening? No, she no, 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 she's no, no. she what? says that she's looking for a guy. I'm just saying. <laughs> UAE men, we're fantastic. We have a lot going for us. Are you putting yourself what in that category? Yeah, yeah. tell yeah. us what you got going on for us. Any, That's a good statement. We we have stable jobs because we're here on a... a How on much a, money do you make? Well, lots Listen, of money. Ah, yeah. is mama it here? shouldn't be about the money. Yeah, it's anyways. The quality. Yeah, I'll see straight away. Stop then. talking nonsense okay. right now and get to business. Okay, get to business. Mama won't be happy. She needs money. She needs good money, you know? Yeah. What Ross, else? Ross, what's your list? What are you looking for in a life partner? What would you? What What are some of the qualities? Because we'll put this out here. To the, I'm already getting Instagram <laughs> messages here. What are you looking for? Let's let's, let's note them down. Let's go through the list. Um, well, she's got a list on her phone here. Look. Oh, she's got it out already. Hold on. I don't ask for much. It's a PDF as well. <laughs> Just a little bit of Bitcoin. A bit of Bitcoin. Or a lot. Okay. It doesn't, you know. Yeah. In, in between, I'm mm. fine with that. Okay. 
Uh, rich guy. Rich uh, guy. Yeah. Rich. Cool. Right. I, I kind of feel like I need to be a guy who does what I'm doing so he understands the lifestyle. Okay. Okay. Social okay. media. Possible social media. Doesn't yeah. mind being on social media, yeah? Yeah, or it lets me do my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Back up. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> That's Go, me. Um... Tall. Tall. Yeah. tall. Why, why yeah. does tall always get in there? Oh, he's yeah. got a complex, mate. Paul he's got a tall. always in a there. A full head of hair. Oh. Rossi had a hair transplant, just yeah. letting you Rossi, know. Rossi, I'm sorry, you're not my type. It's okay, <laughs> I'm married anyway. Hair, uh, you want hair tall. <laughs> Wouldn't mind social media. Someone guy with a lot of money. Bitcoin. I saw that you just got a G-Wagon uh, handed over to you last what? night. A car like that? You'd like a car to cruise around I in? I switched it out because it wasn't good enough for a Rolls Royce. So yeah. I went and I complained. <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, <laughs> really? Okay. Are you a Karen? Mm. <laughs> okay. I think you should stand up for your rights sometimes, is what I'm saying. That's right, girl. You get yeah. it. Yeah. Well, up. men, oh we're going to help you right Whoa. now. Some pick up. We're going to teach you some pickup lines to use. For me. For me. And this, she gonna, uh, this, these are going to work, man. Okay, right? let's now, see. Now, remember, Rossi and I both just were taken. We're sorry. Okay. No problem with me. All right. <laughs> We're just practicing I know here. that's a problem. I know it is. It's a yeah. huge one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But For are, sure. Are we ready? Okay, Chris, go first. Go first, Ross. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> May, May looks so uncomfortable. What is happening right now? I Sorry, just mate. don't know where this show is going. So, uh, May, you just let them know if you like it or not, okay? Uh, if it's a good pickup line or not. Uh, you, uh, okay. You have gone around on your social media around New York getting people to give yeah. you the best pickup line. All so, right. we, you've, Rossi yeah. and I in our heyday, Okay. when we were younger, oh, God. Mm. you don't understand <laughs> oh, who no, we were. Oh, no, one of those. Oh. Do you know Matt Damon and Ben Affleck? <laughs> we taught them. And I they're was, older than us. I was a big player, yo. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Cut, yeah. The, cut yeah. the mic. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All so, right. Um, all right. Go. Come on, Go ahead, go ahead. I want to hear what you got. Uh, hi. How's it going? Sorry, this mic's not on. Hello. Um, hello. So smooth. Russ. Sorry. Um, hi, May. Hurry up. I don't got time. Right, so I, got, I don't you, got all Can day. you feel this T-shirt? Uh-huh. Is it, Do you know what that is? Is it boyfriend material? Massimo material. <laughs> Yeah, that's a no. I'm going to write that down. That is a Ooh. no. She didn't like it. She Thank no. God you got married, man, because it would have been tough for you. Yeah, we actually say that a lot. We don't know how he found someone. I am yeah. punching, let me tell you. But I mean, it's okay. miracles do happen, guys. Well, I, well, at least I'm rich. I'm very rich. Oh, he's, okay. he's not. He's, he's not. not. He's got no he's money. What? He's, got, he's renting yeah, his car. Yeah, the material is giving me irritation <laughs> where I just touched the T-shirt. Next thing I know, my hand is turning blue. Sorry, what kind of material? I wash it once every two weeks. <laughs> nice. Is okay. this still the pickup line? Is this still it? Okay, so that's a no. All right, fair enough. Oh, yeah. That's a no. Okay. You know, uh, Let's see what Chris got. Here we go. May, if I was a, uh, <laughs> if I was a cat, <laughs> oh, if no. I was a cat, if I was a cat, <laughs> I'd spend all my nine lives on you. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> it was meant to say with you. Effect. It was meant to say with you, but I said on you. That was weird. A light effect. <laughs> May, I'm sorry if you feel a little uncomfortable. I... Oh God. Well, that was good. These. Guys... Now, if, if a guy said any of these, are they are, are they bad? Because this is what we used to use in 1994. This this was the game. <laughs> Oh, no. My God. Ma- no May, good. I, 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 hold on, hold on. Just... He said, "If I was a cat." No, if I was a cat, I'd spend all my. You nine... wouldn't last one life with that <laughs> line, Habibi. You wouldn't last one life with that nonsense. <laughs> no. If you, if you were a chicken, then <laughs> would you? L- no, don't you go would there. Be, no, don't you would be impeccable. <laughs> hey, I like that one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's to me, mate. But he Googled it too. <laughs> yeah, I did. At least I got that one right when I Googled it. Ri- I ripped up all my oh lines. Oh my God, you guys are a mess. This, this is not the way so that I, I wanted to present ourselves <laughs> to May. I'm sorry, May. Like, this I is I would not... never play hide and seek <laughs> with you because someone like you is impossible to find. Oh, that's good. You know, that is a fact. And I do like when people speak the truth. <laughs> if, so if that you, one, I like. Check. If, if yep. you were a Transformer, you would be Optimus Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, my no, God. Do getting... you like raisins? Why are you reading off of papers? This should come from the heart. No. We... How do you feel about a date? <laughs> <laughs> It's the delivery, Ross. I told you to be more confident yeah, with your delivery. Yeah. You've still got it, don't you, mate? Oh, mate, we've got it. High five, no. bro. High five. Oh, no. Oh.